Hey, look, if you were in the running for being the next Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Olympia, <laughs> you wouldn't be online looking for videos on how to get fit and lose weight, right? Um, I feel like I'm qualified to talk about that. I'm 40 years old. I'm in better shape today than I have been uh, probably since I was 25 and maybe even better. Actually, you know what? I'd say I'm in better shape than I was when I was 25. Uh, I might not be as lean, but when I was 25, I couldn't run from the couch to the fridge. Uh, and today, I, you know, I can do between 15 and 20 miles a week pretty comfortably. Um, and so the topic of how to get fit and lose weight, well, it depends on where you're at. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're just like, you know, hey, I'm 40 and I'm a little over, you know, 30 pounds overweight and, and I just want to look better, I want to feel better, that's going to be a different program than I'm 350 pounds and I've been obese most of my life. Um, those are going to be two different programs, but let's talk about each, okay? Because if you just have 20 or 30 pounds you want to lose and maybe you just haven't been, you know, in, in the greatest strength training shape or that sort of thing, then you know what? I, I, I got a great plan for you. Here's what it's called. Stop eating simple sugars in mass. Cut the alcohol from your diet. Uh, you know, read a couple of nutrition books, not diet books, but nutrition books and then get cardio in three or four times a week for 30 to 40 minutes a pop and start hitting the weights, right? Get a, watch a couple of my videos on weight training and exercises you can do from home if you want to do that. Uh, and that's really all you need to do and then just stick to it because if you start consuming fewer simple calories and you start burning more calories and you start packing on muscle through resistance training, you're eventually going to create a calorie deficit and you're going to begin to lose weight and you're going to begin to look better and you're going to begin to feel better. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, if you're way out of shape, I mean way out of shape, um, you, th you're going to have to do some more drastic measures, I think. And, and here's what I would highly suggest. I would highly suggest hiring a nutritionist, okay? Hiring a nutritionist and hiring a trainer. And then you've got to get committed. You can't be interested in losing weight. You have to be committed to losing weight. And the reason why is because if you're just interested, you'll lose interest. Because it isn't gonna be fun, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be challenging, you're gonna to wanna to quit a lot. And so you're gonna to need to take yourself seriously, pretty probably beyond even what you thought. Um, it's gonna require a level of commitment that you may not have realized you were going to need. And so a trainer and a nutritionist are gonna be there to help you, to be able to push you. And, and like I said, you're gonna to have to be 100% committed at that level because when you're that far out of shape and when you're that far overweight every exercise hurts more than it should uh, every bit of cardio is is much more strenuous than it you know than it would be um, if if you were a hundred pounds lighter if, the, if that's the case but here's what I do know for sure you can do it uh, I went from having no being 40 pounds 50 pounds overweight and having not done any weight training in 10 12 15 years um, to again getting back into the shape that I was in when I was in my 20s and I did it through being committed. I also changed my whole financial life, by the way, during that same time frame by being committed. I wasn't interested. I was committed. I used a formula and a blueprint and turned my whole financial life around. You can learn more about that if you want. I put a link below the video. It'll take you to workingwithbrian.com if you want to learn about the financial side of, of how I turned my life around. But on the physical side now, I just did what I described to you in the beginning of the video. I cut out the simple sugars. I cut out the alcohol. Uh, read a few books on nutrition, not dieting, but nutrition. Uh, and then, you know, just started working into cardio, started going back to the weight training. I had a little bit of an advantage only because I had weight trained when I was younger and when I was in college. So I kind of knew what I was doing there, but, but that's not difficult to do. Again, there's some videos right here on this channel that'll help you with the weight training stuff. So best of luck to you in your quest to lose weight and get in shape.